Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. Tonight, we are going to sample from a bottle sent to me from Frank and Daniel Carter, and it's a Sam Houston 14-year-old bourbon whiskey. Oh, let's do it. This son of a bitch is one of the sleekest looking bottles you are gonna find. Look how sh fancy and schmancy it is. It's got the wood stopper on top. It's got the black and the gold and the white and the words in different fonts and different sizes. It's got a textured label. Here, listen. Sam Houston, or as I like to call him, Schlammed Houston, is just offering up so much information on this bottle. <laughs> America. Oh, my shirt, my brand new shirt. The old swirl action. Oh, Sam Houston, we don't have a problem. As a matter of fact, we got a friggin' solution. Oh my mother, that smells good. Let's cap it and talk about it. Sam Houston, 14 years old. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 98 proof, 49% alcohol by volume. Brave soldier, fearless statesman, pure patriot. Sam Houston sounds like a hell of a guy. Emblems and stars and he's got his face on there. He's an old man, that's an old guy. He was old when they took that picture, so he's probably really old right now. And by really old, I mean... <laughs> you know. Enlightened by patriotism, and guided by wisdom. Sam Houston's life was that of a true legend and patriot. He ran away from home at a young age, like a true patriot. For a short time, he lived with a Cherokee tribe in the Hiwassee Hiwas Hiwas River area. Eventually, he was given the name Colony. Colony? At first, he was given the name Colony? meaning the raven, and adopted into the tribe as Chief John Jolly's son. Hopefully the, hopefully the whiskey's as complex as this label. <laughs> he grew up to be a fierce soldier and strategist. At one point, with a small, outnumbered, undersupplied force, his men defeated the Mexican general Santa Ana. Freaking <laughs> defeated him? Houston's men suffered few casualties, but a straight bullet shat his ankle. Shattered his ankle. The decisive victory forced Santa Ana to sign the Treaty of Velasco, granting Texas its independence. Oh, this is a story about friggin' Texas. All my exes live there. Huh. If I were just to read this label, I would say that this has got to be a Texas whiskey. Eh, wrong. This is a friggin' Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Oh, mother of Mary. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, cripes. That is glorious. A coffee cake, one of those coffee strudel cakes you get from a really, really fancy coffee shop. You're standing in line, and the bro is like, hi, hi, guy. And I'm like, I hate when people call me guy. But what's up? And he's like, sorry, sir. I'm like, I hate that too. And he says, is there any pleasing you? I'm like, maybe if you have coffee cake. And he's like, matter of fact, we have the best coffee cake on the planet. Would you like to smell it? I'm like, absolutely. And he's like, here you go. And I'm like, good gravy. I'll take seven of those. The coffee cake that's got like the crusty crust on it. Oh, man. It's also got like a, maybe if they put some like, some razzleberries, some raspberries in the, in the coffee cake. Then they, they packed it all up for you in a very bourbon-soaked oak box that was once lit on fire, probably like 14 years ago. Sweet oak, coffee-caked, baked goods, a little bit of red fruit. Oh, man. There's something else that's just down in there. It's like a vanilla extract. It smells friggin' wonderful. Oh my gosh. 
That makes a grown man squeal. Whatever is in here is possibly the best bourbon of 2020. This could probably be the, best, the whiskey of the year right here. For a 98 proof bourbon to be this complex, this flavor friggin' forward, this concentrated and just brilliant flavors, like a, a thick honeyed, a thick honeyed, like the honey butter on cornbread, baked good style with a coffee cakey, oaky son of a bitch. That is friggin' fan. What the hell? It has these deep dark notes, but also has these fresh bright notes also, which is, it has a complex nose. This was a gift by one of the most generous people on the friggin' planet, because this bottle retails for like roughly 120 to 140 dollars i would think i think so um it's not cheap this reminds me a lot of the wild turkey 17 year bottle of bond um quite a bit less cherry on it though that one is more is more cherry heavy this one is more berry heavy this one is batch tn01 which means tennessee um there's two barrels in this batch. So the batch size is two barrels, distilled and aged in Bardstown, Kentucky. The mash bill's 74 corn, 18 rye, and eight malted barley. Now I did a little deep dive digging to find out where this mash bill could come from. And it doesn't seem like this mash bill of 74, 18, and eight is disclosed by any distilleries for being um, like a very common mash bill. There was another bottling done by somebody that had this same mash bill, and it was believed that that was sourced from the Barton Distillery. So this could be 14-year-old Barton Distillate, and it is good. Damn it, it's good. This is Sam Houston on his horse, and he's pointing. He's pointing at you right now. Pointing at you. He's like, you. Go buy this. You. If you got if you got $125 in your pocket or a fantastic friend like DC and you or him are willing to part with that $125, you buy this. Cause it's that's ridiculously good. Could this be bourbon of the year? I guess we'll have to find out at the end of the year. See what other bourbons I can get my tiny chubby little paws on. Am I right? My name is Matt, and this is ADHD Whiskey. And like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on just being a legend and a patriot. And being a governor and a state senator or something, and riding horses and pointing at people. And granting gigantic states their independence. And if you can't do all that, just be a good person. You can handle that.